Hello, my name is Lauren and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you an exercise that I've been using for over five years to process, help me transform, work through negative emotions, uncomfortable, heavy emotions. And so I'd like to start off probably by saying talking about how collectively um, we're handling emotions or complex things that we don't want to understand, which I feel like emotions can be very complex and overwhelming to the point where we don't feel capable of understanding them. And so if we look at you know, parenting, typical parenting, it's not uncommon to kind of see, you know, when a child is misbehaving or acting in a way that the parent sees as unreasonable or bad or something, that the parent will lock the child away and, and say, don't come out until you act the way I want you to or, um, something like that. So they will, I will love you again when you behave, but they, they kind of shut them out, block them away, ignore them, you know, when they're having these emotions. And a more extreme example that I don't want to get too much into because it's kind of uh, <laughs> more, I don't know, it's more extreme is like adults misbehaving. Of course, we don't want <laughs> adults who are misbehaving, you know, running around the place like they could be very dangerous people. So, you know, we put them in a box, we put them in jail. And, you know, of course I understand this. <laughs> but another aspect of it is like, we don't want to understand you. This is going to solve the problem when it's not really solving any root cause of the problem. We're not leaning in, we're not asking, we're not understanding this person so that we can make changes in ourselves and how we act as uh, <laughs> people in the world and how we you know, raise people. You know, we're not um, learning about, we're not trying to understand them. We're kind of just putting them in a box and shutting them away. And this, also, I feel, applies to emotions. Um, so, emotions are very complex, and um, I want to <laughs> just share with you this exercise and how we can start to deal with them, how to lean into them and understand them, and learn from them and see the, the gifts that they have for us. Um, so, <laughs> here's the exercise. So, when you're feeling a heavy emotion, this has got a large range. You know, it could be, um, you know, emotions so heavy and painful that you actually feel achiness throughout your entire body. It could be, um, you know, just no matter what you do, there's always this heaviness. Um, it could be very mild, but it's there. Um, there's a wide range. So, um, depending on what stage you're in, when you're ready, you know, I understand that there's a place for going and watching a funny movie or hanging out with friends or exercising just so you can, you know, feel good in that moment. And I understand that there's a place for that. But when you're ready and it's safe and you feel like you're in a safe space, um, I would say um, sit with these emotions. And you can almost m make it a little bit of a separate thing. Like I've heard the analogy, um, you know, when you're sick, you have a cold. You, you are not a cold. But when we're sad, it's like you're not sad, that's not you, you have sadness. So you can think of your emotion as something that you have. It's not you, it's not 
you don't have to live from this emotion. You certainly can, but create that little bit of separation to where this is something I have and it's here right now. It's temporary. It's um, something that I have. So thinking of it that way already kind of neutralizes the energy a little bit. So you can sit with it and say, this is something I have and welcome it. So you may think, oh, why would I want to welcome this? And like I said earlier, in my <laughs> experience, in many cases, most of the time, I feel like in my case, I feel like pretty much, I can't think of a time there wasn't an underlying gift in a negative emotion. Um, so, <laughs> most of the time, um, there's a gift. There's a message, there's something that it's wanting to reveal to you to help you step into your uh, self more fully, um, to something like that. So, identify the emotions. What are you feeling? Heaviness, dread, um, you know, what is it? And feel it. Feel where it hurts in your body. Feel where you ache. Feel how it's affecting you. Be present with it and just be there with it. And like I said, you can create that little bit of separation by saying you have this emotion. You are not this emotion. Um, okay? So welcome it and listen to it. So sometimes I like to imagine this emotion as like a inner child of mine who's kicking and screaming or really upset. And so I would handle it like I, I would be a loving parent to that emotion. So maybe kneeling down, looking at this child um, at eye level and saying, I'm here, I'm with you, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not going to abandon you. I'm here to understand you and I'm listening and that kind of thing. And just sit with this inner child of yours, this emotion, and listen. And that may be all you do for that day. This is an ongoing process and sometimes emotions will take months to understand and integrate. Um, but just be patient and it's not like a strict kind of process. It's, um, you know, it's something to work with. <laughs> So, um, it, if you receive any messages that day, you can journal, you can write down what's coming through. Um, you may not receive any messages and that's also okay and still just be with yourself and say, I'm not going anywhere, I see you, I'm acknowledging that you're here and I'm listening and I'm open. And so, write down any messages, journal whatever you want to do, and when you're ready, you can, um, can, you can ask yourself, can you imagine, just imagine letting this feeling go? Any answer is okay. So it could be, I can imagine letting this feeling go for a moment, for, for a few moments. The answer could be no. The answer could be, yes, now that I know why this feeling is here, I feel it served its purpose and I can let this feeling go. And um, so you can just ask yourself that question. Um, get a vision for what it would look like to live without this feeling. Um, but you know, if it's not going away, that's perfectly okay and it can be there as long as it needs to be there, as long as it still has things to teach you. Um, it will probably be there to some degree. So let it be there as long as it needs to be um, without resisting it. And um, so <laughs> if you can imagine letting this feeling go, you can then ask yourself, when would I be willing to let this feeling go? Any answer is okay. It could be, I can let this feeling go now 
temporarily, but I want to be able to come back to this feeling later if I still need to learn anything. <laughs> um, you know, it could be just, I'm willing to let it go now, or I'm not willing to let it go yet. I can't imagine letting it go. Any answer is okay. And then start getting a vision for what you feel like you can replace that feeling with. So many times at the end of all of this process, and it could take many months, you could do the whole process in a day and, and learn some things and feel better. You could do it over a week or whatever, but just allow yourself the time to go through this process. Um, so you can start to get a vision for um, what new feeling is going to replace these, or how this negative feeling is going to be transformed or transmuted. So, you know, you might have a resentment towards someone, but um, in, in sitting with that resentment, you might actually learn that you had codependent behaviors or um, things that you know, you are relying on other people to provide for you instead of um, feeling full and whole within yourself. So this resentment then transforms into learning to take better care of myself, learning to step into myself more fully, learning to, uh, <laughs> you know, things like that allow myself to become more creative and feel this wholeness within myself. And then you look back on that maybe person that you felt some resentment towards and you actually can start to feel grateful. Like, I'm so grateful this happens. I have, you know, you can hold space for this person and you can actually feel, you know, have, have good feelings towards them and, and also feel fuller within yourself. So it's not like we cut off that negative emotion and got rid of it and put it in jail. Um, you're sitting with it, you're learning from it, you're leaning in, you're saying, I want to understand you and I'm not going anywhere and I'm here and I'm with you. And this negative emotion can transform into a fuller you, you embodying your, a fuller version of yourself that was wanting to come through. Because if, you know, if this happens, the situation, for example, if it involves another person, you know, this, your resentment towards them, it wouldn't have triggered any resentment um, had, had you not had something to learn from it. If, if that makes any sense. Um, so anyway, that's the message I wanted to share today. Um, yeah, and it's just not about cutting things off, pretending they're not there, ignoring them, resent, resisting them, um, but allowing them through you to flow through you and being open that these have some really incredible lessons to teach you. And maybe even like the more um, difficult the situation, the more beautiful, um, the more um, big these lessons are, the more uh, opportunity for growth there is in these lessons. So that's just a quick <laughs> video. Oh, maybe it's not so quick, <laughs> but, but that's my video on um, processing emotions. And yeah, I, I originally learned this maybe five years ago in Psyche. And I was doing Psyche techniques with this process. So you're welcome to look up on the internet all about Psyche and what that is. Um, but I was using this process in combination with Psyche when I first learned about it. But I really think it's, um, the process is, is the most important thing. And it's, it's, you know, kind of a give and take, ebb and flow thing. You don't have to do it exactly. Just feel it out, do what feels good for you, and um, that's probably the, the best way to do it um, for, for you. And it's not like an exact, to me it's not an exact thing, it's like what feels good right now 
is sitting with these emotions. What feels good right now is watching a funny movie. <laughs> um, but create a safe space for yourself and um, allow yourself to move through this process and um, be there for yourself. Um, <laughs> so that's my message for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.